Southampton has some of the best surviving medieval remains of any English town. Its remarkable history stretches back into the mists of time. One building that loomed large, literally, over the town and its fortunes was the castle. Not much of it remains today, only one or two sections. But the modern geography of that part of Southampton is very much influenced by what came before. The castle was in the north-western quarter of the old town, not too far from where the modern West Quay shopping centre complex is today. In fact, the shopping centre is near where the West Quay was in medieval times. No one knows for sure when the castle was first built. Its first mention comes in 1154, but there was probably a wooden Mott and Bailey castle before then. Some experts even think that the castle was built on a previous Anglo-Saxon fortification, but that's uncertain. If not Saxon, it's likely that the castle was built around the time of the Norman Conquest in 1066 as a way of imposing power on the defeated Saxons. The castle was in its pomp for about 150 years when countless sums of money were spent on works on the castle. Though in 1246, some townspeople were fined for taking stone, timber and lead from a building that was being demolished. The Mott, the raised mound on which the strongest part of the castle was built, was considerably lowered in the 19th century, but is still obvious when walking around that part of the town. The earliest account we know of it is from 1378, when it seems that it was built very fast, part of the major rebuilding of the town after a devastating raid in 1338 that ravaged the town, and the castle was unable to defend its inhabitants. The newly rebuilt keep was, according to one witness, most beautiful in form circular and wall within wall, the foundation upon a hill so topped that it cannot be ascended but by stairs. The castle wasn't simply a defensive structure, it could be a place of luxury and comfort. In the 1250s, a new wardrobe for the Queen was installed, which probably included the construction of a sophisticated toilet system known as a guard robe. Tidal water flowed into a chamber and washed out the contents. Two guard robes have been found. At the bottom of one of them was a barrel, possibly used to clean it out. The castle area was protected by a bailey wall, where local people and animals could seek refuge in the event of an attack. The western section of the castle bordered on the West Quay, first documented in 1189. In Madison Street, near the northern perimeter of the bailey wall, archaeological excavations uncovered three burials in a lime kiln near it. They were probably buried between the 13th and 15th centuries. Who were they? We can't know for sure, but one idea is that they were French casualties during the raid of 1338 and were given an undignified burial as a result. The castle also had its own chapel, named after the patron saint of England, St George. In the late 14th century, Thomas Triddington was appointed to the post of chaplain of the castle, but he also seems to have had a substantial knowledge of gunnery and gunpowder and became the keeper of the king's victuals, armour, artillery and guns. Kings and queens of England regularly stayed here. Many others also spent time in the town's castle, including Queen Elizabeth I. Many important events probably took place here, including the gifting of the common to the people of Southampton, and possibly the trial of conspirators attempting to murder King Henry V before he sailed to France for the famous victory at Agincourt. A beacon 
stood atop the castle as part of a communications network warning of invasion. An owner of Tudor House in the 15th century is known to have replaced it. Only about 10% of the castle has been excavated by archaeologists, so there's still much to discover. Two parts of the castle still survive. Castle Hall was built across two floors and a wine vault was added later too, a result of the booming wine trade. A spiral staircase led up to a large hall. Though its exact purpose remains unknown, it's romantic to think of a hall used for feasts and merriment. Immediately north of Castle Hall, we find a huge barrel vault that was used to store some of the wine belonging to the king. A tax known as the King's Prize allowed for the king to collect one-tenth of the wine that came into the port. This impressive space speaks to the importance of the castle and its role in the economy of the town and of England. For centuries this vault was lost until being rediscovered in the 18th century. Most of the castle is now lost in the past, removed in the mid 17th century after falling into ruin, its stones officially used to repair other parts of the town's crumbling walls. A short-lived 19th century gothic toy castle made of wood and plaster was the last semblance of the incredible fortification that came before. Much later, during the Second World War, Castle Vault was converted into an air raid shelter for 170 people, once more providing safety and security to the people of Southampton.